Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope you are doing so great. Today we're going to study present perfect versus past. So we're going to study some differences between both tenses. So let's start. Present perfect versus past. So let's remember the meaning of present perfect and past. Past, it's a repetition and duration that started in the past and finished. Present perfect. There is a connection between the past and the present. There is a thing that started in the past and haven't finished yet. That is like a repetition and a duration that started in the past and continue until now. So, let's review the structure of present perfect. In affirmative form, we have subject plus have or has, depends on the pronoun that you are going to use there. Also, the past participle plus the complement. In negative form, you have the subject plus haven't or hasn't also depends on the subject that you are using and the past participle and complement. If you have a just no question, you have have or has depends on the pronoun. Also, then you have the subject, the past participle, the complement, and don't forget the question mark. So, also we have the past tense. In the affirmative form, we have the subject, the verb, ed, if it is regular, or the irregular verbs, plus complement. Negative, subject, plus didn't, plus the verb in the base form, plus the complement. For a question, we have did, plus subject, plus verb, plus complement, and the question mark. So, let's see some examples. I broke my leg on holiday last year. This is a past tense sentence because you're using here last year. That is an expression in past. So, I broke my leg on holiday last year. But, if you say, I had broken my leg... That is an action that started in the past but continued until now. Let's see other examples. I've known Julie for 10 years. This is an unfinished action that started in the past and continued to the present. So I've known Julie for 10 years and I still know her. But if you say, I knew Julie for 10 years, this is a finished action. Now she moved away and we lost touch. You are not um, keeping in touch with her now, right? So, my brother has been to Mexico three times. That's a finished action in someone's life. When the person is still alive, that's a life experience, right? So, my brother has been to Mexico three times. But, what about this one? My great-grandmother went to Mexico three times. A finished action in someone's life when the person is dead. So... My great-grandmother went, that is the past, right, to Mexico three times. Also, we have, I've lost my keys. That's a finished action with a result in the present. The result is that I can't get into my house now. So, if you say, I lost my keys yesterday, it was terrible. So that is a finished action with no result in the present. Now there is no result. I got new keys yesterday. So, 
I've seen John this week with an unfinished time work. That's this week, this month, or like today, right? So, I've seen John this week. But I saw John last week with a finished time word that is last week. Also, you can say last month or yesterday. Those are expression in past, right? So, I saw John last week. That is a finished action. So, guys, that's all for today. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.